What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mom, coming at you guys to show you how I wash my hair. Okay, I know I said in the previous video that I wasn't going to show how I wash my hair, but since I already did the show and tell of what I'm going to do and the specs or whatever, and you got that, if you didn't, uh, make sure you go watch the video before this, and you will see um, everything I did to prepare my hair to get washed. Um, all, well, what I'm going to do now, last night I went to sleep because I was supposed to wash my hair yesterday, y'all. I didn't feel good, so I just said forget it, and I went to bed. So this is the result of me just saying forget it and go to bed. I, I did sleep with my bonnet on, though. So what I'm going to do now is re-moisturize my hair again. Not re- yeah, moisturize it. Just get it up a little bit. Um, get in there. So that way I can detangle it um, a little bit more. Because y'all seen my detangling video on how I detangle. So what I'm just going to do is before I actually wash my hair, I want to make sure it is is detangled. Now, once I start washing it, I might clip these out my way because it might get in my way. I might go ahead and do that now because some sections will hang over in the sink while I'm trying to wash the other section. So I'm going to clip this other one off here and do the same thing to this one and then I'm going to take you guys to the sink, okay? Okay, y'all, so I am to the sink showing you guys that I'm going to be using olive oil ORS creamy aloe shampoo and the reason why i chose this shampoo is because it is a sulfate shampoo and it does have like the detergents in it to make your hair all bubbly and i wanted that because this this shampoo clarifies and neutralizes um hair also um but i got it because it's a good clarifying shampoo if i want to get the uh all the oil and stuff out of my hair which is my goal because I am going to color my hair and I want to get as much oil out of it as possible because y'all know I pile my hair up with oils and they, you know they'll they'll stick if you don't you know wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo so I'm doing that and right in the front I was just showing you guys that I, where my gray is and I want to make sure I get that area very clean because I want to pretty much get all of the oils out of my hair as much as I can the reason being is so my color can stick because I'm going to be um, coloring my hair with a semi-permanent um, hair color after this video which will be my next video so stay tuned to that video and oh as you guys can see I'm washing my hair in sections each section will be getting washed uh, twice and as you can see, I focus my scrubbing on my scalp only, like I'm doing right now. I'm scrubbing my scalp with my fingers, um, the beds of my fingers, and not my fingernails. And um, this this video is kind of fast forwarded, but as you can see, I'm pulling like down the rest of my hair. I'm making sure right there that I'm getting that area cleans real good because that's where my gray is, and I want all the oil, as much oil as possible off of that area in the front because thus my edges are where all the gray hair is girl so i'm scrubbing my scalp and i don't bunch my hair up together that's the number one thing you don't want to do to your hair is bunch it all together and scrunch it up when you are uh, washing your hair because that is going to cause tangles you want to do like i'm doing right here and drag your fingers slowly through the base uh through your hair shaft you want to drag your fingers down and not get it and crinkle it all up together and as you know try to do that as less as possible but you want to try to keep your hair stretched the entire process so that way when you get done you have less to detangle because detangling um will cause you a lot of unnecessary breakage because you're trying to just untangle your hair you know if you keep your hair untangled as much as you can the less you will have to worry about detangling okay the less stress you will be under so i'm going to just rinse this section right here making sure that i got all of the shampoo suds out of my hair and after i do that i just squeeze it off and i'm going to twist it around and clip it off like i'm doing now if you see excess shampoo don't worry about that we're gonna handle that at a later date <laughs> okay so next section here i'm gonna do the exact same thing i make sure i wet my section first before i put any shampoo in it so that way when i do put my shampoo in i can get a good lather um this shampoo this shampoo is a sulfate shampoo it's not sulfate free so that that means it's going to give me more bubbles and like i just did right there i bunched my hair up that's what i don't want you to do i was just showing you an example of what not to do what you want to do is drag your fingers down like i'm doing there and 
scrub your scalp just like so. Um, and all of that that comes from your scalp will eventually drip down your hair shaft and cleanse your hair as well. So no scrubbing in the hair because it's going to tangle up. And if your hair tangles up, you're going to have a big mess. And you're going to have a stressful time with your shampoo process. And it's not going to be cute. Nobody don't want to sit there and detangle all of that because it is hard. Do it two times, like I said. There's the second go around scrubbing my scalp, focusing on my scalp. I want to get all of those oils and greases. And virgin hair fertilizer, wild growth oil, Jamaican black castor oil, all of that out of my hair because I want my hair to be free of all the oils. Now, usually I wouldn't st uh, strip my hair as much um, of its moisture because. Um, or I will follow up with a moisturizer of some sort. But since I'm going to be coloring my hair after this process, I want my hair to be uh, clean and free of as much oils as possible. Only because I want my color to stick. Because my color is just a semi-permanent. You know I'm relaxed so I can't get like that strong permanent color. Because you know I ain't trying to break all the bonds in my hair. So um, my next step, stay tuned to my videos because... I am going to be coloring my hair so you see I left like excess soap in there don't worry about that we're gonna get to that now this is the third and final section that I'm going to be washing um, just wetting the hair like I did the other two sections put the shampoo in scrub it out don't bundle up the hair because if you do you're gonna have yourself a hot mess later on I'm telling you what I know and I do each section one section at a time just scrubbing scrubbing getting it all clean and making sure that my complete head is covered with being scrubbed and I drag my hands through like you see here and that helps get all of the oils out you see what I'm doing just do that to your hair see I can pull my fingers through um, Remember guys, I am relaxed, so I don't know if you can do this if you're natural pull your fingers through, but I think you can because I think your hair gets softer if you're natural um, when it's wet. So I'm continuing to scrub my scalp and it feels so good because I, um, I as while I'm scrubbing my scalp, I'm also giving myself a, you know, a gentle massage as well. So I'm going to rinse my hair out here and make sure I got all of the shampoo out of my hair as much as I can get because y'all know I can't see the back of my head but don't worry we're gonna get that later and I'm just gonna rinse as good as I can and then I am going to proceed to I think that's my second wash I don't know yeah that's my second wash so I'm gonna twist this up and pin that up now y'all see all the bubbles I left right we're not gonna worry about that hold on I'm finna get that so now I done did all four of the sections I did the other section off camera um so now what I'm gonna do is give my full head a rinse I hope y'all was not worried that I was not going to rinse my hair out completely but I am that's why I went back to uh do this final step right here make sure everything was rinsed out and make sure I dry my face off and I'm just talking to y'all because I didn't think I was gonna do no voiceover but girl um so got my hair all washed now I'm gonna put it up in this towel and I'm going to uh let it sit in this towel for a few minutes there is my happy dance because it is so much work to wash your hair Kiki, do you love me? Is you riding? Hey! Okay, y'all, so that's it for shampooing my hair. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ooh, some flan, child. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to my next video of when I color my hair. I'm actually going to be putting dye in my hair, y'all, so stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be black. It's going to be black. Oh, yeah. All right, that's all for this video, and, um, yeah. I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.